Okay, the Crow Reaction trailer came out. And if you guys aren't familiar with our channel, we watch reaction videos. Like, first time watch is genuine. But my daughter's never seen the Crow. And I'm like... You can't, you need to have a point of reference. Yeah. And that's a movie, for anyone that doesn't know, that's a movie that, like, like kids in the 90s, bro, That's that was like the movie. Like, that was like our, our teenage angst thing. Before mm -hmm. teenage angst was really like a thing that was advertised. Yeah. So, welcome to our Crow review. 1994, Crow review. 94, I thought it was 70. You know, when you were 20 years old in the 70s. Welcome to our 1994 Crow review and revisit and see, did it age well? Did it not age well? I saw this in high school, dude. Like I was a senior. I was almost out of high school, but I saw this in high school. Brandon Lee passed away. That was like a big thing. It was like, oh my God, you know, like freaking poor guy. Like this was his like, like breakout, big breakout role. role and that happened. Yeah. And, you know, it was just the, the movie just had, it was gothic. And it was cool. And it was just the 90s. She saw it yesterday? I saw it yesterday. By the way, I can always tell how she likes movies. Like, we make little comments with each other. And we're like, oh, she's really liking it. She's not. Mm -hmm. I could not tell what this shit. You were like, no expression whatsoever. The movie ends. And she turns around and goes, they can't remake this. Oh, yeah. I'm like, and she's like, you can't remake this movie. I'm not saying... I'm not bashing the new crow. We haven't seen the trailer yet. We haven't but, seen the trailer. But she's like, we can't remake this. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, I remember saying that now. I was like, huh? But no, um, the reason being is because the whole point of the film is its time. Like, it's very 90s grunge, and it revolves heavily around that. Even, like, the mafia boss guy, dude, he was, like, very gothic. And replicating that now it just feels very, like goofy but let's talk about this crow okay um what did you think of it i there were parts that i thoroughly enjoyed the concept itself is really cool like some guy coming back from the dead to like kill the guy who kills him and his boo um but i don't know if i can say this on camera Brandon Lee, right? Brandon Lee, like, there are points where he was fantastic, great. And there are points at certain times his acting kind of took me out of the film. In her defense, watching the movie now, um, I will admit, and I do want to talk about more stuff than just that, but yeah. yes, um, understand that whole grunge teenage angst like on screen like that yeah. tortured soul was kind of i don't want to say new but it wasn't really yeah, no, put it, on it, camera no, it much. Was new. so it, it it was one of those things where even i will have to looking back now when i was a kid and i watched this shit i was like oh my god it was the greatest thing ever but I kind new, of wait, I'm with you on that because if you watch the crow now, there are yeah. some moments where some line deliveries that you're like, like oh. yeah. and it's like, <laughs> yeah, like he's not too believable. But um, but I will say in his defense, some of the scenes you're talking about are scenes that they had to put voiceovers and things like that because of when what he, happened, what happened. Yeah. Um, and they had to you know, use a little bit of digital yeah. enhancement and digital, you know things cgi really wasn't a thing back but then that but that would yeah. be like my only critique because i love the concept i love the camera work i love it i think it's great i wish more filmmakers do that and some of the camera work you're talking about is them like um when he went there and he first started to put the makeup on and everything else like he the was shaky camera. that was using another person mm. and they had to impose his face on there yeah no the which is why it was a little bit shaking because they had to try to figure out I a way to loved still it. the cinematography throughout the entire film was incredible the look of the movie is freaking amazing in I fact i respect the look of the movie now more than i did back then because the look of the movie you, you don't have um Again, you don't have really the CGI. You have like models of houses and, and the yeah. apartments and all that stuff. And when he's going on the rooftops it's art. and you're seeing it, it's artwork. It really is artwork. It's art. And that's... It was actually... A, a, it's a big reason of why they can't remake that. Because everything now is so polished. 
So it's like it takes away the charm of the film. Yeah, um, that's that's you were saying like the graininess of it. She's like, that's how you know you're old, dude. If you're my age, you're like you hear someone say, oh, the graininess of the movie, and they're talking about a movie from the '90s. You're like, <laughs> but yeah, I get it because you know what. Freaking like that's why I, I I have a hard time really getting into like Netflix made movies and things like Amazon because it's so four K clean, 4K clean yeah. and you want a little bit of that film feel yeah and there's something cool about that and this movie freaking had that mm-hmm. um, also I mean just the amount of inspirations from this film like Heath Ledger Heath that Ledger. was the okay. first thing I got when I looked at like. His mannerisms, his like physicality, I instantly thought Heath Ledger. He definitely took inspiration from Crow. Heath Ledger, I am a huge Batman fan for for anyone that doesn't know. Um, and I'm a huge Joker Heath Ledger fan. Like to me, that is like definitive Joker, yeah. hands down. Heath Ledger has gone on and said all he's not all, but a lot of his inspirations. Like Alex from from uh, Clockwork Orange, a movie I'm not going to sit and watch with you. Um, other movies, but he never really mentioned, you know, Brandon Lee's Crow. But even when I saw that, I was like, dude, that's freaking the crow a little bit. And yeah, yeah. it is. There's some inspiration there. Mm-hmm. And there's so many movies, so much anime that like you see, it's like so crowish when you watch anime yeah. you're like crow 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 and it's like yeah dude it's so, that style i will say too is that some of the dialogue some of the delivery was a little bit um dated but the rest of the movie is not dated yeah. at all dude this movie held up like really held and up like the action scenes like the gory scenes no they're the, really cool the, this movie held up it's it's a time capsule it really is this movie is a time capsule of the 90s and uh, even like the, the 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 music itself, the soundtrack in this thing when it first came out was amazing. The two major songs in it was the one from Stone Temple Pilots and the one from Nine Inch Nails that are both in this. And uh, I knew Nine Inch Nails was in it. I was like, I was hearing it. I was like, is that is that? Yeah, it was only one scene. There was one part where I was like, yeah, it keeps yeah. calling me, and he's going mm-hmm. over the rooftops. Yeah, that, that's Trent yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was Trent Reznor. Yeah, I'm a '90s guy. Yeah. Freaking, how do yeah. you even show? Yeah, yeah, there it is. But yeah, no, it's The Crow, 1994, is uh, to me at the time and even now, yeah, magical shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For, you know, you? One out Four of five? 4.5. Wow, magical shit for you too? Magical, magical shit. Yeah. And now, let's see The Crow trailer reaction uh, for the new one hey don't give it a chance it a guys chance. please like subscribe and whatever all this stuff that i have and uh thanks for watching